it's your life, and then it's the greatest moment of your life. When you're a kid, you have a lot of dreams and realities here in the background. And then as you grow up, the dreams start to recede and reality starts to come to the forefront. You embrace reality and dreams go, go away and sit in the corner. I never really grew up, so all my dreams stayed up here. My reality sat in the background and um, you know I embraced dreams entirely. Like I was always that person who was like, I'm just gonna play video games all day. That's what I wanna do. Where before have you seen a game like this? Like, if you if you play Siege, you recognize that it has a unique feel to it. It is something new. It's kind of revolutionary in the way that it functions. It's it's a five v five close person, but then it has like the battlefield Bad Company two esque destruction, and it's all jumbled into one little map. And there's the operators; they have their own little unique things, and it's it's just something that you haven't nobody's ever seen before. Practicing with teams online versus playing with them, playing with them at LAN, it's it's like it's your life, and then it's the greatest moment of your life. Does get the diffuser, dodges the last few bullets, drops onto silence, and there it is. When I, when I first grew up, like I just played sports. My main focus was like hockey. And then eventually I had to quit hockey due to concussions and everything. I didn't really have anything to do. So after just watching my brother play video games, it's like I wanted to be better than him now. <laughs> I'm bored, honestly, like if I'm not competing in something. And Rainbow Six Siege came out, I definitely kind of fell in love with the game. And I, I seriously like haven't taken like a break since I had kind of gotten that idea just ingrained in my mind that like trying to play video games playing them competitively so seriously is kind of silly but whatever reason I like playing the game and I want to be the best at it and I'm not happy unless I'm the best at it this is going to be the deciding factor continuum can't find him but there's the second oh! kill retro they're gonna get it more than enough time to defuse continuum are the first North American team to win Rainbow Six Pro League Doesn't doesn't feel like a video game to me. And that's that's kind of why I feel like it's a sport. When I'm playing in a serious competitive match, it's just all natural. Like I just get into the zone, do my thing. And everything I say, think, do, like it just kind of happens. I don't know. It's like I'm in a different world. J'ai eu une manette à la main euh, très jeune, parce qu'en fait, dès mes 7-8 ans, euh, mes parents nous avaient acheté euh, les consoles de l'époque. Et depuis cette période-là, j'ai jamais arrêté de, de jouer. Et puis après, bah, de jeu en jeu, on a évolué. On est tombé sur Rainbow Six Vegas et, et Vegas 2 en euh, 2006-2007-2008. Bien joué aux Archanges, qui était franchement assez chaud. Et bah, euh, c'était une évidence pour nous. On avait des champions de France sur, sur Vegas 2. On voulait aller s'investir sur Siege et on s'y investit à, à fond. Quoi. Vitality's favor. They win this, they win the grand title here for Xbox. Yeah, they've got to be playing this smart. Oh, and now Lion's able to get Spark. They're going to be pushing in to get this diffuser planted. Some bulls from above are going to nick on a Zangro. Not going to get him killed just yet. However, Zephyr's attack from behind is going to fail. The Claymore kill. Your champions, Team Vitality. On a vécu une superbe année sur Rainbow Six. J'ai partagé des moments incroyables avec des gens euh, fabuleux. Was so emotional winning this. We've been working a lot, lots of sacrifices, even for my work, with my family. I mean, I haven't seen my son as much as I would like to. Oh, my voice is shaking too. I understand that. I do, I do. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute commitment here. My 
en gros, là, juste avant le Six Unit National, on, on s'entraîne tous les soirs. Dès que je rentre du boulot à 19h, c'est directement sur la console et on, on s'entraîne jusqu'à minuit, 1h, 2h du mat à travailler les stratégies des adversaires et à travailler nos propres stratégies pour voir ce qu'on peut apporter pour les contrer. Ouais, c'est quotidien. C'est notre premier enfant, il avait deux mois quand, quand Red Basics est arrivé. Donc j'ai raté pas mal d'événements importants de la vie d'un petit bébé que je récupérerai jamais parce que c'est des premières fois. C'est une des grandes raisons de, de mon arrêt aujourd'hui. A lot of hostility surrounding it. A lot of people still aggressively can like condescend you if you're a player. Like I've been to family parties, for example, where I'll have that distant uncle and he'll talk to me about, so you play video games all day. Oh, that's such a waste of your life. And I'll be like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, uh, this is what I put all of my shit into. Playing professionally is good and all, but when you're you're surrounded by four other people and they're shouting at you and they're like, Kickstar, you gotta do this, Kickstar, you gotta do this, and you're like, I don't want to do that. I retired in the middle of the third season, uh, not being comfortable on the team that I was playing with at the time, and one of my good friends, Panky, he jumped on one of my streams and in the chat he's just like, hey, you want to commentate? And I was like, yeah, let's do that, and we just kind of, I just kind of fell into it. None of this is something I, I came in like I wasn't planning on getting where I where I am today that wasn't my plan I just was like you know what I like this game this game's fun I enjoy playing it I'm gonna play it a lot I have a little bit of anxiety I'm gonna, I'm gonna be in front of a, a couple hundred people it's, that's intimidating I'm not a people person it's I am in the exact opposite job to who I am as a person. It's really weird, it's almost ironic. Bah, L'équipe Vitality au Six Unit National, on est venu euh, au Six avec l'ambition euh, d'aller en finale. Et bon, bah, c'est quand même essayer de clôturer cette, euh, cette petite carrière d'une dizaine d'années sur, euh, sur une bonne note. We have some of the youngest players in the game showing up as the defending champions. Everyone's kind of looking to like take the title from us. I don't want to sit and watch, I just want to play, I just want to get a dumb one. The Six Invitational represents the pinnacle of competition in Rainbow Six Siege. Basically the world championships, it's the everything you know, championship. It's, it's the all or nothing. Yes, you won three seasons of Pro League, but can you win the Invitational? Europe and North America for the longest time had completely separate metas that they didn't understand each other at all. And then after a couple seasons, they started to mix. And um, the Invitational, what it gives us for the first time is it brings the Brazilians and the Asians into that meta mixture and it allows more evolution. All of the very best teams from around the world make their way there to compete against each other and they clash. Well, I think the land events are an important part of the lifeblood that is Siege. It's a redeeming thing, being a player and you know, finishing your pro league season and in the end getting to come to an event. You know, they fly you out and you get to stay in a nice hotel and you get to, you know, I get that experience and I think that's what honestly I think that's what keeps a lot of these teams going as it stands right now is, is the the promise that at the end of the year you're gonna get to come play on the big stage in front of a bunch of people on descend des gradins et rien que ça déjà c'est une claque quand t'es joueur parce que tu passes au milieu du public et euh, t'arrives sur, euh, sur cette magnifique scène du district national. Euh, 
consulat, on la domine euh, largement. Il n'y a pas vraiment de, de surprise sur cette carte-là et ça nous met en confiance pour Café. Café, en plus, on leur prépare une petite stratégie d'entrée où euh, on va chercher un kill dès le premier round. Un C4 qu'on envoie sur le toit, on savait qu'ils allaient monter par là. Ça met le doute toujours quand euh, tu as l'impression que l'adversaire t'a étudié à ce moment-là. Et on finit sur, sur Clubhouse, qui est une de nos meilleures maps. On mène rapidement 3-1, assez confortablement. On a un petit peu le doute parce que derrière, ils, ils reviennent à 3 partout. Et finalement, on arrive à mettre les, les, deux, les deux derniers rounds pour s'offrir une, une finale face aux Américains des Night. Il y a vraiment une très très grosse communauté française sur, sur le jeu. Le drapeau, le drapeau ouais. bah, Du coup, ça a forgé la team baguette comme on l'avait. C'est vraiment cool de, de représenter aussi tout, euh, tous ces petits Frenchies derrière. Going into the Dex match, I guess they were they were the opponent we were most worried about because we didn't really know too much about them. We knew they were good, but we didn't know much about their strategy or anything, and they seemed to change things a lot. We don't know what to expect. This is very good for Canadian. He's managed to get up top undetected, no drone spotting him here, and he's right above the drop hatches. Go, he's about to see Gohan here. As Gohan comes around, he gets one, he gets two! And there's gonna be a second, he's gonna drop one over. He won the first map like so so one-sidedly and then the second map it was one of our most confident maps too and they just were right there with us i was definitely impressed and they they made a lot of like big individual plays that just won the rounds consulate is going to be our final map all right let's go it was small mistakes nothing else we're fucking smarter there's 10 seconds left to go and nbk is there the long range shotgun will not land the kill and nbk is going to get the first round for his team but unfortunately there is not enough time and it's going to be three to three yes let's go and Young is going to stay inside of here, wait for the clap, push it on in, and it's the end Let's go. 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 let us go you just, I, like, I'm a Dex fan, you just beat my favorite team, but you're the best player in the world, I love you. And I was like, wow, okay. Like, it, it was kind of overwhelming. Like. Everyone's putting their full into playing that match and trying their best. Good game again, man. Jesus. This guy's a fucking solid, man. That was definitely competition, no fucking shit. Oh, my God. Everything is new and exciting. You've got other esports teams where they, they have like a tournament every day. And here, every single tournament and every single pro league, every day that they play those, it means something. It's significant to all of the players involved. I personally had that situation. You know, for the most, for the majority of players that are playing right now professionally, it's because they love the game. It has nothing to do with money. Sure, they'd like to see more money. Sure, they'd be like to be rewarded with more money. But they're here because they love the game. Ce qui est impressionnant aussi, c'est qu'on joue pas que pour nous. Il y a plein de gens derrière nous qui, qui sont là à nous pousser, à faire en sorte qu'on qu aille le plus loin possible. Et quand on voit tous les soutiens qu'on a sur Twitter, sur, sur le stream, dans la, dans la salle, c'est vraiment submergent d'émotions quand on voit tous ces soutiens-là de, de personnes qui nous poussent derrière nous. No one can really call themselves a world champion until the Six Invitational. If, if anyone looks back on year one, if they're going to remember anyone, they're going to remember who won Six Invitational. It's Team Vitality versus our Team Elevate. Both playing on the razor's edge. It could go either way. These two teams are the epitome of Xbox competitive play. Je ne pensais pas, euh, genre en tant qu'équipe e-sport, avoir un jour la chance comme ça de, de chanter la Marseillaise sur scène, c'était un, un très beau moment pour nous. 
And it is map number one of the grand final. He's over here, they killed the Capel. Now it's just a matter of will they get that perfect opportunity? Première map, elle se passe pas comme on l'attendait. Là, il savait, il savait, là, il savait tout, il savait tout. Et on a vite l'impression en fait qu'ils sont euh, littéralement dans nos têtes. Ils savent tout de nous, ils savent toutes nos positions, ils savent euh, tout ce qu'on fait, que ce soit en attaque ou en défense. Bah, après cette première map, on, ouais, on doute un peu. Et c'est rare qu'on doute sur, sur Siege. En fait, on est en train de sentir que le, le match nous échappe, totalement. J'ai mes collègues un petit peu en rigolant, euh, s'il vous plaît, pour le dernier match, on met au moins un round, quoi. Allez, Bank, c'est à nous, les gars. Bouteille, 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 bouteille. Même Chris qui a un contre un face à Ibana qui va aller perdre parce que bah, c'est le jour où rien ne passe pour nous. C'est quoi cette défense Sérieusement Un mec qui vous ouvre, un seul mec Parce qu'ils ont eu un ascendant psychologique sur nous qui était démentiel dès la première carte et qu'on n'arrive pas à remonter. Et derrière, les rounds s'enchaînent, s'enchaînent et, et rien ne passe au point de, de prendre 10-0 de manière extrêmement logique. quoi. En fait, c'était mon dernier match et on était en train de prendre la fessée de l'année. Et, et j'étais là, waouh! Putain, la sortie par la petite porte, elle est, elle est pas ouf. Ultra soulevé, quoi, incroyable! Et au final, les veilles étaient au-dessus, on peut pas on peut que les féliciter eux et, et regretter de ne pas avoir préparé ce match comme peut-être on l'aurait dû. J'aurais préféré que ça se sur une victoire, c'est sûr, je ne peux pas mentir là-dessus, mais euh, prendre des fessées comme ça, c'est jamais plaisant. Mais en même temps, pour le jeu, c'est beau aussi, ça montre que quand une équipe travaille vraiment son sujet, elle peut ultra dominer son, son match. Non, ma carrière, elle est belle, on a eu un titre de champion du monde, on a été champion d'Europe dès la première saison de, de Siege. On a fait une très belle année. Elle se finit pas comme on l'attendait, mais deuxième équipe mondiale, on n'a pas non plus à rougir de, de cette prestation-là. Mais voilà, c'est le sport, il faut accepter les défaites pour, pour aller chercher les victoires de demain. Please welcome our first team in the world championship on PC, ERA! It wasn't so much like, oh, we want to beat ERA more than any other team. It's just that losing to ERA would be worse than losing to any other team because we'd never hear the end of it. The reigning champions, Continuum! Continuum have to live up to the fact that they are last season's champions. They have to live up to the fact that two of the players on Continuum were previously on ERA. There's a lot riding on that. I was really confident to play them because I, I knew like a lot about their, their maps and their strategies. Yeah, pre play C4s and peaks. Remember, Clips likes to go up to that fucking edge. First receiver up to the back, car takes down Young. Only King George is left standing. Snake Nate is down to the back of the room. He clips a yellow band, picks up the kill and error again, round one. I think they were playing really well and we were not, I guess, in the right mindset right away. And they like surprised us on the first map. Just sees him around the corner, putting on another shield. He can't miss his face. Hidden behind the ACOG, Avian gives error map number one. I literally sat there and like just didn't say anything. I was just like sitting there thinking for a bit. Continuum just lost that map. They're a little bit demoralized now. You could see it on their faces. Are they going to still retain that aggression? But I was just like kind of drilling it into my head, like stop playing so aggressive on defense. He's made the right call as they are rotating back and around. He sees Canadian, but he can't land the headshot that he needed. Now the second one's there and they're going to get through it into the side. He's in and they weren't ready, but Nick Rock trades it back. Continuum are on match point. We we had already had a lead on the map, and then we won like a big round like that where they should win, and we kind of like clutched up and won anyways. There it is, then, ladies and gentlemen, map number three. Our world champion will be crowned by the end of this map. He does take one zap that softens him up a bit further. Eclipse is looking to push on in. Goes go around the corner. He stands on up and Eclipse. I feel as if continuum, what they really truly need to do, they would be winning this map hands down if they could just stop them on. Okay, go slap. I'm really glad you now V4 finds Young, cannot get the kill. Continua are on to championship point with that win here in overtime. His way in, is it tucked in the corner? 10 seconds, they go on around. Go out,
my personal following and like stream has grown so much and the scene is growing, like the game is growing. There's chance for like big organizations to come in or like bigger tournaments in the future, stuff like that. So I feel like I have more of like a chance to make this like a career. It was completely different before Siege. My life has definitely been changed. une soirée par semaine maintenant que je suis, je suis caster pour la chaîne française de, de Rainbow Six et je suis manager maintenant aussi pour Vitality, des deux line-up, une équipe en Pro League et une équipe qui va tenter de se qualifier, composée de mes anciens collègues sur PC maintenant. C'est beaucoup plus de temps que je peux accorder à ma femme et mon fils. Très heureux d'avoir fait ce choix. Right after the Invitationals, um, I went home. I struggled with the fact that I still live with my parents. Then I tried to move here as soon as possible. I moved to Poland to cast the Rainbow Six Siege Pro League. I was waking up at midnight to go in at 1 a.m. to cast the North American Pro League until 6 a.m. I cast the North American Pro League in the beginning of the week and the European Pro League in the end of the week. I quite enjoy throwing myself into the grinder and coming home and I have a day to recuperate. Like, that's fantastic. Tried to put a castle barricade onto the cigar. Where am I now? I'm definitely fulfilling my dreams. I mean, like being involved in, uh, being involved in a growing, thriving uh, esports community and being where I am in it. It's yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. It's my. It, this is fulfilling my dreams. Are you kidding me? Like. This is fantastic. I'm so happy to be where I am. I'm, I'm truly humbled as well. The team synergy and team play, team strategy that we're seeing from all the different teams that are so far in the Pro League is better than it's ever been. It's fantastic. It is a wonder to behold the high level of play that we are witnessing currently in both the European and North American meta so far. Oh, we're in the best place we've ever been with this game.